I recently saw a discussion online amongst some financial planners discussing how you build portfolios to protect or hedge against various what if apocalyptic situations. What if, insert your apocalypse du jour. I think it's really important to consider that for financial planning purposes, we have to plan for the percent of potential outcomes. We really can't prepare for these 1% potential outliers. And the way that I think about that is the cost to hedge your portfolio against an event that is so unlikely to occur would be so costly that it would actually detract from the other 99% of potential outcomes. From a financial planning probability, we have to use historical returns from different asset classes and have to have a general idea of the volatility that those asset classes bring. So how do we build portfolios? We want to make sure that we have a robust emergency fund of six months of expenses. We want to make sure that we have additional cash to cover any major purchases that we know we're going to have in the next couple of years. Bucket number two is going to have five years worth of portfolio income. We want to keep that in short term, high quality, fixed income instruments. And finally, the third bucket, we want to own a low cost, diversified portfolio of the best companies in America and the world. We believe that's the best way to build portfolios. If we have one of those extreme tail risk moments that we've never experienced before, at that point we're probably all out fighting for chickens anyways. If I have a delicious juicy chicken and you have a $20 bill, keep in my chicken. Plan for the 99% of potential outcomes. As always, stay disciplined, work the plan, have a great day.